What is up, Mustard Packets? Okay, it's time for another episode of Daisy Overpog, but from the admin side of things. Now, I'd just like to note that we have, on the uh, Overpog server I run, moved to a whitelist-only system, and while we understand that will not uh, necessarily get rid of all hackers and, and such, it will deter them as there is an extra step in the, in the process of joining the server. Now, moving on with the video, I'm just in my admin panel. I've got the usual uh, ESP uh, god mode and invisibility turned on so I can observe things on the server. And I notice this guy's got well, he's got three briefcases on him, which isn't all that unusual. Uh, his humanity is awful high. Not a lot of people on the server are heroes, so I, I know most of them, and I don't recognize his name, which is nobody. So I'm going to sit back and I'm going to watch Mr. Nobody here. And it looks like he's got a friend with him. And we're just going to see how things play out with these two. Now if you'll note his friend's name is Mr. YOLO. Anybody who has uh, YOLO or swag or any kind of elite speak or, or anything stupid in their name like that, I usually give them a good once over because they're usually up to no good. Okay, okay, not usually, but a lot of the time. So it looks like they just completed one of the missions on the server. I'm assuming it's a uh, side mission since there was no AI present, and that looks to be the case up there. I'm trying to find them now, and uh, I should have been smarter about it and known that they would have been up right at one of the uh, one of the missions. There they are. Actually, they were on one of the main missions. That's interesting and so we're just gonna we're gonna check inventory so right now we're actually we're observing nobody but if you look down where it says closed bag we're actually inspecting Mr. Yolo's gear and he's got three briefcases on him as well so that's six briefcases amongst the two of them and they're two people that I really don't know on the server and to have that many briefcases in a group like that I, I anytime I have more than one briefcase on me I make a beeline straight from my base. Uh, I want to put that stuff in a safe and get it off of me. I don't want to lose it. I don't want to risk losing it. So we're gonna sit tight and watch these fellas and and see what their next move is. I'm, I'm really curious at this point and want to just make sure everything is is legit with these guys. So here I, uh, I shift tab out and I inform Umi, who's one of my buddies and, and admins also on the server. And yeah, if you didn't catch that, rewind it just a little bit. Uh, they teleported as I was talking to Umi. So I like to call people out over, over side chat before I uh, administer their uh, inevitable punishment. So that's that's what I do here, and then of course I uh, I'm gonna have a little bit of fun with the, at least the first guy before I uh, remove them from the server. Oh! So yeah, I broke his legs, drugged him up, and set him on fire. And then I removed him from the server. I'll watch his friend here in the SUV. He hops out, and then, poof, he's gone. He just, uh, he disappeared. So we're going to go find him. And we're going to go check out what he's doing and where he went to. And, uh, oh, he's, <laughs> if you look at the, uh, uh, at coordinates over there on the top right of his, uh, information, he teleported back to where they initially were. And, uh, he's gone from the server now as well.